All right. Hey guys. So today I have a quick video for you guys. I want to show you how you can pack your entire beauty routine into a carry-on. Okay. With the way I look right now, you're probably wondering why you're taking tips on this for me, but this is the time that I had to film today, so we're just going to roll with it. The first thing you need to do when you are downsizing your beauty routine into a carry-on is figure out what all of the products are that you're going to need. And I am talking from step one all the way through to blow dried and out the door. So for me, that starts with shampoo in the shower all the way to finishing spray. So once you have your list and you know what all of the products are that you use in your normal routine, figure out what you can get away with not bringing with you. So for me, I don't usually take my shaving cream when I travel. I will usually just shave using my body wash. I'll also eliminate my hairspray and I'll settle for just a texturizing spray that kind of can do double duty. Then you're gonna look at what's left and eliminate one step Further. This is the step where I take out stuff that I know I can buy on the cheap at my destination. So for instance, I might not take sunblock that I know I can just buy there next to the beach. Now that you've pared down as much as you can, see what you have left and figure out what kind of traveling containers you're going to need for decanting. I recently purchased the set of 12 from the company Cadence. The principle behind this company is that you want to be able to keep your Cadence while you're away from home. These are magnetic on three sides, little hexagon shaped pods that you can buy in color code the way that I did. You can customize what the top tiles say on each of them. You can mix and match. You can even grab a couple of blank ones if you're not sure what you'll be using them for. What I love about these guys is they are non-porous. So how many of those little travel containers do you buy over the years that are plastic and then once you use one thing in them, you can never fully get them clean so you end up throwing them out and buying new ones anyway? You're not gonna have that problem with these Cadence decanting pots because they are completely non-porous. They're also very easy to clean and easy to get everything out of because the interior there at the bottom is curved. So you can literally get your fingertip all the way into the corners. You're not gonna be digging through there with a spatula or anything to get any product out of squared edges. These also have fully threaded caps. So these are 100% leak proof, even for your liquid and creamy liquid products. So as I said, I ordered a pack of 12 and the two cream colored ones, ivory, I don't remember what these ones were called. These ones don't have any particular labels on them because I knew there would be occasions that I need to put something somewhere and I don't want a confusing label that's going to mislead me about what's inside. This is gonna take care of the majority of my beauty routine and I'm gonna be able to tuck all of this right into this TSA pre-approved reusable plastic bag. What about the products that don't decant easily into another pot? I have another solution for you. My biggest problem with travel size bottles is that they waste a lot of space in this little TSA approved bag. So I went to Amazon and I picked up one ounce spray bottles. These came in a pack of four. These are just the two that I'll be using on my upcoming trip. But being only one ounce in volume instead of three ounces, first of all, when I take something like my texturizing spray, I'm not even gonna use a full ounce of it. Even if it was like a week long trip, I'm not using this much. So the big three ounce bottles that I fill up like the bottom inch of, it's just a waste of space in my TSA bag. So I will link these little one ounces for you guys down below. They weren't very much. I think it was like eight bucks for the set of four. Apparently they're kind of hard to find you're usually gonna find the two and three ounce ones, but these will fit beautifully in that bag next to my Cadence collection. As for things that simply do not decant, so most of these I'm thinking are going to be the aerosol sprays. So for instance, I have a dry full volume blast, is that what it's called? Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast volume and texture spray. The travel size of this I think was around $17 and I'm absolutely not going to pay for that. So I did have to find myself a substitute. This one is Kristen S. Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. Found this one at Target for a fraction of that amount. Similarly, if you're like me and you like the spray on sunscreens, not something that you're gonna be able to decant even into a sprayer bottle. So a travel size is the only way you're gonna be able to go. But since we did the work to pare down at the beginning and prioritize what was going in this TSA approved bag, we should be able to get in what we need. And as I said before, sunblock is something that's not very expensive, super easy to buy at your destination, and you can even buy a travel size bottle once you get to where you're going so you're not throwing something out and leaving a bottle behind on your way home. So for my upcoming trip, one of my ivory sort of interchangeable containers is not gonna be used for a liquid product, so I'm gonna set that aside, and I'll just show you. This fits right into my TSA bag. Oh no! It's fine, he'll literally just click right back in. And then once these are full, I'm gonna pop these in like so. 
one on top of the other, just next to my Cadence products. And then my texturizing spray is gonna fit right there on the top. And that's it, I'm completely organized, I am compact, I am minimalized, and I am ready to travel with my full beauty routine in my carry-on. Some of you might be wondering, since a lot of these are occupied with things like skincare, hair care, etc., what about your liquid makeup products? I have very mixed feelings about that because I can tell you that I have traveled through airports before without putting things like my foundation into this liquid reporting bag and they've never flagged me for it. Likewise with things like small tubes of hand cream that I've just forgotten are hanging out in my book bag. That said, I've also heard people say that they've had things like peanut butter taken away. Not technically a liquid, but I guess viscous enough that they felt the need to confiscate it. Okay, TSA classifies both solid deodorant and lipsticks as solids, so no need to worry about lipstick and chapstick. But another article says that beauty products, including creams, lotions, oils, perfumes, mascara, and lip gloss are all considered liquids. According to the TSA, makeup in a solid or powder form is allowed in carry-on and checked bags with no quantity or size limitations. However, when packed in carry-on bags, makeup in a liquid, lotion, gel, paste, or creamy form must be in containers that are 3.4 ounces or less. So what's not already in here that apparently ought to be? Concealer, mascara, and toothpaste. Regarding concealer in particular, switching to a stick concealer like Jones Road Beauty for your traveling purposes will keep this out of your TSA bag and you can just put this right in your checked luggage without needing to fit it in here. Done. All of my other makeup is still going to be in my makeup case that I shared with you guys on my Beauty Minimalist video the other day. The stuff that I showed you in that video, like my daily sunscreen, the LMS Superfood, etc., that are liquids and are going to be in my Cadence collection are missing from this pocket right here. But all of that is gonna fit super easily into my carry-on, so I hope that this helped give you guys some good ideas for how to first pare down, get really clear on exactly what you need in your carry-on, how to get creative on some of the things like concealers that are maybe liquids, depending on which TSA agent you get, I guess, and get you off and traveling with as little extra crap as possible in your luggage this summer. So thank you so much for watching. I am going to go and take care of my beauty routine now, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.